so here we have a cathode ray oscilloscope screen with one centimeter squares displaced displays and the trace below so one division is one centimeter y gain is set as two volt per centimeter or two volts per division and time basis set as five milliseconds per centimeter or five milliseconds per division calculate the peak voltage here so peak voltage if we draw the center here so one to three divisions is the uh, amplitude of this wave so peak voltage will be three into two that will be six volts will be the peak voltage uh, sorry uh, first one is peak to peak voltage this one will be six volts and this one will be v peak to peak so that will be three plus three six divisions so six into two that will be twelve period of the wave is the time taken by one complete wave so we can uh, what available part of the waveform looking at that part we can uh, consider this point and this point that will be one complete wave So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight divisions on x axis and one division stands for five milliseconds. So time period of this wave will be 40 milliseconds and time period is. And frequency will be one upon t. Okay, so you need to calculate what will be the frequency here. Moving on. Then we have a uh, figure shows the trace obtained on the screen of an oscilloscope and a signal is applied to the input terminal. The Y gain setting is 0 0.5 volts per centimeter. Time is setting is two milliseconds per centimeter. So determine the peak voltage. Peak voltage can be determined in one, two, three, four deflections. So four into 0 0.5 will be two volts will be peak voltage. Determine the frequency of the signal. So we can find out the uh, time period of one wave exactly one, two, three, four, five, or we can do that for two waves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten units for two waves. For one wave, that will be again five units. One unit is two milliseconds. So five units will be ten milliseconds will be the time period. And frequency will be one upon ten milliseconds. So you can calculate the frequency from this one. Okay, this one. So now waves, now here waves are shown as uh, spikes. So sonar wave are emitted from the surface vessel, which is determining the depth of the sea, emitted signal and its reflection from the seabed. Suggest so two reasons why peak voltage of the trace on the screen is much smaller than the first. I guess we have discussed that earlier. The reflected one is smaller in amplitude because energy depends upon the amplitude of the signal. So when a wave travels through a medium, it loses energy to the medium and the amplitude of the wave decreases. And when it is reflected back again, so in that event also energy is also transferred to the reflected surface. So these can be the two reasons. Okay, this one. For the case where the time base is switched off and the gain is set at five volt per division, described with the aid of diagram, what is seen on the screen when Y dash is connected to negative terminal and Y connected to positive terminal of a 15 volt battery. So Y dash will be connected to negative. So this is minus, this is plus and 15 volts. And we have five volts per division, uh, the scale. So that will be 15 volts will be shown as a deflection of three divisions. And will that be upward or downwards? Let me see. So beam will be deflecting downwards. 
because we have a negative terminal at the top and positive terminal at the bottom. So beam will be deflecting downwards in three units. Okay. An AC supply of uh, 50 Hertz, 40 volts is connected to Y dash Y. Now consider that he said that time base is switched off. So there will be no sweeping. There will be no readings on X axis. There will, will only be readings on Y axis. So 40 volts will be shown as a deflection of eight units. Okay. Eight units above the center point and eight units below the center. Point. For the case when time base is switched on. So if we switch on the time base, what do we see? Oh, no, some of the data is also given. For the case where the time base is switched on with a period of 0 0.04 seconds, sketch the corresponding waveform for A1 and 2. Okay. So what do we see after? I think I should uh, draw it. This will be the reading of A1, 15 volts with this uh, configuration. And AC supply of 40 hertz will be shown like this. I will draw that with a different color. So there will be no deflections needed for more deflections needed for that. Eight divisions above and eight divisions below. It will be like this, eight divisions above and eight divisions below because AC signal will be spanning over plus 40 volts to minus 40 volts. Okay, now for this one. We have the same values. So for 15 volts <clears throat> signal and uh, scale of y axis is same 5 volts per division so three deflections will be there but if we have switched on the time axis also so that will be swept along the x axis so we'll be looking at a line So we'll be looking at a line which will be three deflections away, three units down the center, but it will be swept, swept along x-axis because we have switched on the time base. Now it's a DC signal, so it's flat. It's not changing its value on uh, the axis. Now for B2, now that's an AC signal of 50 Hertz and 40 volts and time is also given now. Okay, so I guess we have discussed for this one. For this one, uh, scale can be given in two ways. For example, So you can be given it like this that one uh, division stands forward or one centimeter stands for how much milliseconds. And here you are given it like with a period of 0 0.04 seconds means uh, the whole time axis here is 0 0.04 seconds. Now if you find out the time period of this signal that is frequency 50 hertz so its time period is 1 upon 50 that will be I guess 0 0.02 seconds. And uh, since it means time period of this waveform will be 0 0.02 seconds, and two waveforms will be shown here. So, two waveforms will be shown in that whole time axis of. 0 0.04 seconds. Here, time of one waveform will be 
zero point zero two seconds. Okay, and its peak voltage will be eight degrees because that's forty volts, and we have a screen of five volts per degree. Now it it has been given in some other manner also. For example, this would be the divisions. So it could also be given in a way that uh, that's four divisions for a group. So it could be given that uh, uh, time axis scale is zero point zero zero four seconds per division. So it could also be given in that. Okay, I hope you get this worksheet. Now I'm also be uploading a uh, challenge yourself worksheet. This is taken from mostly of the test is taken from the physics matters notebook. So if you can get it from that, you can have it. Okay. Let me one more thing we can also discuss that too. Now this is the voltage signal against time. That's a sawtooth waveform or triangular wave. This is also a sawtooth waveform. But the difference is this sawtooth waveform is starting from a negative value and spanning over to a positive value. And this one is starting from zero to a maximum value. So what if we apply do these two waveforms on the CRO display on time axis? This one will be showing the readings from the mid of the screen to the extreme right. And this one will be showing from the extreme left to extreme right, because uh, this will be making deflections on either side of the center of the screen. And this one will be making the electron wave to deflect only to only the right side. I hope you get it. You can post your questions. We can discuss those questions too. So that will be all for CRO. Uh, you attempt the challenge yourself worksheet and I'll upload some possible questions also, then we'll be able to discuss it. Thanks.